so I've had many requests for my sugar cookie recipe. So I like to use a Meyer lemon from my container garden to give the cookie a little bit of a surprise flavor, but you can use a regular lemon too. And here are the ingredients if you'd like to do a screen capture for an easy trip to the grocery store or you can also print them out down below the video. So I like to start by sifting my flour just to keep it nice and light and this is all purpose flour. And to this I add the baking powder and salt and I'll just whisk this together. So probably the hardest thing about making these cookies is letting that butter come to room temperature. You really need to make sure that it's soft. So to my butter, I'll just add my granulated sugar and I just want to beat these together until it's nice and creamy and a pale yellow. And as I'm mixing it, I want to make sure to keep the sides scraped. And to this, I'll add the vanilla along with the eggs and we'll cream this together too. I find that most of the recipes I've used in the past for sugar cookies always tend to be very dry and hard to work with. So my recipe um, is a little bit more on the moist side, but we are also going to use a couple of tablespoons of flour on the work surface and that will help the dough be nice and easy to work with. And now everything is mixed real well, so I can go ahead and start to add the dry ingredients. And now I'll add the Meyer lemon peel. I just want to grate this in there real fine. And you can add this earlier like with the butter if you want to. I just found that sometimes I end up with a lot of the peel on my um, little beaters and um, then I don't have them in my dough where I want them. So, so I like to do it last and then just mix it in real well with a fork. And now my dough is ready. It's nice and soft. I'll just go ahead and form it into a ball. And I'll let it rest for just a few minutes while I get my cookie sheet ready. And I like to use parchment paper on my cookie sheet to keep the cookies from sticking. So now I can roll it out and so put a couple of tablespoons of flour right here on my board. And I like to work with about half of the dough at a time just to keep it manageable. So now I can go ahead and roll them out and you want to make sure that you roll them pretty thin so that they will keep their shape when they bake. If they're too thick, you won't get the nice corners and little crevices of your cookie cutter. So make sure you roll them pretty thin, but not so thin that they're hard to work with. So it'll just come in time if you haven't ever done this before, you'll learn which um, thickness will work for you. So for these cookies, I'm just going to use a little star. And now into the oven. So it usually takes about eight minutes for my cookies that are this size. If you're doing a lot of different shapes, the larger cookies are gonna take a little bit longer, maybe another minute or two to cook. So try to do your small cookies um, all on one pan and maybe do your larger cookies on another pan. And I'll go ahead and make the icing for the cookies. This is the icing that I made for you a couple of years ago and it hardens and so it's really nice. You can also add of course a little bit of food coloring to this and I'll leave a link to the icing below this video if you missed it. And it's easy really for this kind of cookie if I just dip them in like this. Of course if it's a larger cookie you can just drizzle it over the top and have it just come over the edges if you want to. It's just a real simple icing that's absolutely delicious. And so many years ago, I um, had a little cookie at a mall and it was so delicious and so I found out that they had used an almond flavored icing and I thought it was like a lemon cookie. So I found a nice recipe online for the icing which had an almond flavor and so that's what I've been using all these years. 
and then I developed the cookie recipe and it's just I think the perfect cookie they're kind of addictive though because once you eat one it's really hard not to eat another one and another one so these don't last very long in my house and you know they're just a lot of fun to make everybody likes sugar cookies and they're so simple and this way it just adds a little bit more flavor to the cookie to have a little bit of flavor in the icing and also in the cookie itself so I hope you can give it a try we sure do enjoy this recipe in my house and and I hope all of you have a wonderful Christmas and thanks so much for watching there's also a lot more other recipes over on my channel you're welcome to head on over there I have some desserts I have really something over there for everyone so thanks again have a beautiful day